Hello everyone, welcome to Common Sense Academy. Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer here. Today we're going to take a look at an article. Germany shuts down far-right clubs that deny the modern state. Now you may say, what does that have to do with the Common Sense Academy? Well actually it's right on point with our my subject matter. I go into sovereign citizens and, and First Amendment auditors and other anti-government movements. That's what we cover here at the Common Sense Academy for first time viewers. And uh, this article caught my attention uh, because these groups are compared to sovereign citizen groups in the United States. And oftentimes we've talked about sovereign citizen um, movement growing in other countries outside of the United States. So I wanted to run through this article. I thought my fans and viewers would find this interesting. Thank you very much for tuning in everyone. I'm Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer, maybe I already said that. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. It's a free way to support this show. Really looking for subscriptions. I'd love to get to 10,000. I get a merchandise uh, deck, and uh, YouTube gives me a whole lot of other features that I don't have right now. Also, I got an email list. Sign up for my email list, and you'll get a free PDF on the history and examination of the sovereign citizen movement written by me. Now, before we dig into this article, Raise your cup, your glass in the air. I drink Black Rifle coffee because it tastes delicious. Um, raise whether, whatever cup you have. I raise my cup. Let's sip together because it tastes better whenever we sip together. Cheers. So this is in a first federal government in a first, federal government banned two clubs with allegiance to the old German Reich. Police raids on members' homes found weapons, propaganda, and narcotics. This is out of Germany. We got here a march of the far-right group Reich Citizens in Berlin in November. The, the, this, in the article is from March 19th. The German government uh, on Thursday, was a few weeks ago, banned two two clubs linked to an anti-Semitic movement that refuses to recognize the modern German state. Sound familiar? With the Interior Ministry ordering raids on the homes of the group's leaders in 10 states as part of a crackdown on Germany's far right. We relentlessly continue the fight against right-wing extremism even in times of crisis. Horst Seehofer Germany's interior minister said in a statement, We're dealing with an association that distributes racist and anti-Semitic writings and thus systematically poisons our liberal society, Mr. Seehofer said. That's an interesting way to look at it. After years of focusing on threats from Islamist, Isla, Islamist extremists, the German authorities have started to train their resources on combating homegrown far-right extremists. There have been three major attacks in the last nine months, including the killing of a politician, a failed attack on a synagogue, and the killing in February of nine Germans with immigrant backgrounds, all three of which were carried out by far-right extremists. Nine people were killed in that attack? Wow. Far-right terror is the biggest threat to our democracy right now, Christine Lambrecht, the country's justice minister, said after the February attacks. On Thursday, she said the decision to ban the clubs brought the fight against far-right extremism and racism to the highest political level. The banned clubs are part of what's called the German Autonomous Movement, which is different from other far-right groups that focus on refugees, foreigners, or Germans with immigrant background. Its members call themselves Reich citizens or Reichsburger, as they are known in German. One of the groups associated with the movement first gained notice in the 1980s when a member named Wolfgang Gerard Gunther Eibel falsely claimed that the Western Allies had appointed him acting head of a German Reich. Oh, he got appointed after World War II. I get it. The group is scattered across the country, but exists mostly in the South and East. Members primarily focus their hate on the modern German state and people such as politicians, judges, and bureaucrats who they see as representing the state, but they also target people seen as not belonging to the country. 
Well, look, if you ask me, we should definitely be criticizing our politicians, judges, and bureaucrats. Just saying. The Reichsberger have long been on the authorities' radar, but were treated as more harmless than other far-right extremists. At times ridiculed for their eccentricities, well, we do make fun of sovereign citizens here, such as printing their own passports and ID cards, insisting on place names more than a century out of date, that's an interesting one, and some showing fealty to the last German emperor. Some members of the group are armed and willing to use violence. The website of one of the groups contained a banner saying, we, the indigenous peoples, take over the function of persistent objector, and we do not give up our land rights. By Thursday afternoon, the website was down. That's very similar to sovereign citizen movements in the United States. In their denial of a modern German state, members of Reichsberger have harassed and threatened officials and their families, including Chancellor Angela Merkel. In 2018, German news outlets reported that the group was trying to form an army in the state of Thuringia. This does sound a lot like sovereigns. Matthias Quent, the founding director of the Institute for Democracy and Civil Society, a research organization in Jena, Germany, said, there is quite a large potential for violence in the scene, especially given the widespread possession of weapons. He added, however, these are not political organizations that are capable of carrying out a coup. Wow. Their followers have become more visible in recent years. Since 2016, they have been un under observation by German intelligence. In October of that year, one Reichsberger shot and killed a police officer and wounded two others during a raid on his house where the authorities found 30 weapons. See, they have guns in Germany. On Thursday morning, 400 police officers, holy heck, in coordinated raids, searched the dwellings of 21 leading members of the group in 10 states, including Berlin. They found weapons, propaganda, and narcotics, but none of the leaders were arrested. Yet. Yet. The clubs that were banned on Thursday, United German Peoples and Tribes and its subgroup, Osnabrück Landmark, comprise about 120 members. That is far short of the roughly 19,000 people who intelligence services say are part of the movement. Still, the government actions on Thursday represented the first official federal ban of clubs integral to the movement. Earlier raids were conducted at the state level. The ban comes as the country is experiencing a, the ban <clears throat> comes as the country is experiencing a growing wave of violence against elected officials. That is never justified. Violence against elected officials is terrible. Never justified. No violence is justified. Well, I don't want to say no violence is justified, but violence against elected officials. There are currently 32,000 known far-right extremists in Germany, and 13,000 of them are prone to violence, according to country's intelligence service. How many of the roughly 19,000 Reichsberger fall into either count remains unclear. Miro Dietrich, who monitors a far-right online who monitors far-right online activity uh, for a non-governmental group, likens the Reichsberger to the sovereign citizen movements in the United States, who also reject their federal government. They tend to be older people, often isolated, completely cut off from reality. I don't know if that's really true of the sovereign citizens in the United States. Um, in the United States, I think the movement is more disparate, more spread out. People just pick it up off the internet and run for it. This sounds pretty organized in Germany. I don't believe there might be some areas that are organized in the United States, and there are, but most of them are, are very unorganized. You know, the Moors are organized, other groups. Recently, members of the German group asserted the coronavirus pandemic was fake and measures to fight it are a way for the state to exert control. Despite government calls to stem the outbreak through social distancing, the group held a rally in front of parliament on Sunday. Yeah, uh, these people sound a lot like sovereign citizens. Now, they sound to me like they're a little more organized here in Germany and a little more connected to far-right uh, extremism. I don't know if I would call the sovereign citizens far-right. Um, I guess they kind of are. 
to me, they're more just anti-government extremists. And I guess, and you know, they're bunched in with the right because the right tends to be small government um, and, you know, more anti-government generally than the left. Um, however, uh, you know, the, the, you know, the, the, the right and sovereign citizens have a lot of differences going on. Um, but again, in Germany, it sounds like these groups were more organized than you generally see in the United States, although there are organized sovereign citizen groups in the United States. These groups also tend to be, uh, sounds like they're a little more tied in, um, with racism and anti-Semitism, which I would say is not the case for the large portion of sovereign citizen groups in the United States. Uh, they used to be tied to racist ideologies um, back in the 70s and 80s, but the current incarnation of the movement just tends to be generally anti-government in the United States. Uh, and for for whatever reasons, not to say that there aren't far right and, and racist uh, extremist groups in the United States um, that may or may not be connected to sovereign citizens, but most of the sovereign citizen uh, stuff that we see seems to be a bit disconnected from that. However, I thought this was interesting. You know, it's growing in Germany and other parts of the world. Um, you know, they, they use a lot of the similar tactics that we see as sovereign citizens in the United States. And, um, looks like the German government has taken some heavy steps to try to crack down on it. Very, very interesting. Though this new theme seems to be with sovereign citizens the world over, anti-coronavirus, coronavirus is a hoax, da, 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 da. Yeah, I bet it's a hoax until one of you catch it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this analysis and this article. Very interesting. The, the, the movement is growing and it's worldwide. Uh, if you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share, especially looking for subscribers. Help me get to 10,000. Most of my viewers aren't subscribed. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Common Sense Academy out.